Hey, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We have MG Aster with us today, and we are going to do a full walk around and PDI of this car. So, our friend has booked this car from MG dealership in Mysore. This is Beauty Automobiles. Very courteous stuff. They are letting us do the PDI in bright daylight, which will be helping us a lot in figuring out if there are any issues. We have not found any, but nevertheless, we should do a thorough PDI of any car before delivery. The car looks very good in person. Very pretty car. comes with also a panoramic sunroof which we'll see in a moment this is mg aster top and savvy variant with adas features adas level 2 I'll just do a quick walk around of the car. As you can see, this is the ADAS variant. It's an automatic, naturally aspirated petrol variant, CVT transmission. This is the silver color. We are here in Mysore to do a quick walk around in PDI. Here is the view of the car from the front and the back. It looks quite nice. As part of our PDI, we have done the external checks for any uh, scratches or marks in any form. And we are pretty much satisfied with this car from external aspects. Part of PDI, we should always verify the VIN number and the engine number of our car which has been allocated and cross verify it against what the dealer has given us. We have checked and it's the same vehicle which we are going to register. Let's have a look at the tyres. These are Goodyear's 215-55R17 section tyres. And these were are from 0423, fourth week of 2023, which is roughly from Feb. We have verified that the car win is of March manufacturing. So this is decently old expectation for car tire. Here is how the car looks under the hood. We have our engine oil compartment here, our coolant and the Wiper wash fluid, the battery, and the brake oil. So we have verified that all these fluids are at their max level. The car battery is from Feb 28, 2023, which is reasonable. And we are satisfied with things under the hood neat arrangement of things here in this MG Aster and another hood it looks really clean and uncluttered nicely done MG let's have a look at the stuff that we get in the boot that's how you open the boot A reasonable size space so we have our spare tire here and all the tire kit in case of any emergency we also have our parking display for safety in case you are willing to change your tires we also, it also comes with the parcel shelves 
so this looks all good here is a look at the rear seat of the car it's really a spacious car this car is equivalent in size to a hyundai creta i would say and the other competition includes kushak tygoon and even the saltos but i find this car very spacious these are four leather seats cream colored which really provides a good ambiance inside the cabin is how the dashboard looks from the inside on the back seat it's an automatic cvt transmission car we also have rear ac vents with two usb sockets here are rear pockets behind the front seats overall a good calm place to be inside the seat recline angle is very nice and the under thigh support is also good we have acres of leg room here absolutely no problem the windows are big so as part of our pdi we are checking if all the controls work well in the car starting from the rear seat we see that the window controls are fine and the rear windows go all the way down which is a very good thing we also have ac vents at the back for the rear passengers and they are working quite nicely the air throw is satisfactory let's check this window as well yep all good here so i would say all good at the back seat let's move to the front now now in the front seats you see that the driver seat is electrically adjustable so it is just out these controls and we see that the chair is moving so this is all good the electricals are working fine let's sit inside the car i have turned on the car and switched on the air conditioning air conditioning is really nice it's throwing in good air we have a 12 volt socket here two more usb points a touch screen a uh, ai robot as the claim manually dimming irbm and that's bad and we have a big panoramic sunroof let's try opening the shades first we see that there are no blemishes or any spots on the sunroof curtain which is again important to check we have not found anything wrong here let's try opening this now one more touch sunroof is really big in this car I think it's one of the biggest that I have seen for a panoramic sunroof. Opening the window shade as well up top. Absolutely seamless operation. Let's close this back. And we see all good here. Now let's test out our sunroof curtain as well. coming back nicely satisfied here as well the engine ignition is on right now and we think things are fine let's test the window controls from the front so this is the driver side window it's operational let's test it out from the other side as well okay all good now the time for the driver side window all good as well let's test the locks see that the car is locked now it unlocks only if i press it twice so this is also working fine you can see the locks clicking and unclicking and this car comes fitted with a tire pressure monitoring system 
which is displaying things properly. This also has ADAS, so this has this MG pilot. Uh, we will not be able to test it right now, but at least we, this car has the feature. Battery voltage. car has done so far 11 kilometers only so that's pretty good it has not been driven much the ideal rpm rpm is less than 1000 revs per minute which is also good the accumulated total 11.7 kilometers all good here this does the media controls we will go into radio some radio look at the presets sound is fine to increase the volume pretty decent sound all good here we can mute as well from the steering mounted controls it's all happy here test the wipers as well let me try the wipers are working fine so we are pretty much satisfied with this car everything looks in order uh, let's quickly also check the headlights of the car and the indicators I have switched on the indicators now as part of the media inspection. We should test these headlights as well. So I can see the headlights working up in the distance. We are giving sufficient light through. Of course I have verified this by walking around the car. But we should not forget to check the lights and the indicators, all of them, while inspecting the car. Here is how the indicators look really neat looks very nice these are the turn indicators on the mirrors the driver's seat has only the manual adjustment we have a decent size glove box as well this car also comes with 63 degree parking this really helps in mitigating tight parking spots and you can touch the specific area to get a view where you would like to up front at the back the camera quality is a little low but it's satisfactory at least it's a help here is the 3d view of the car as well for you all good here we have a few controls up in the front. I guess this is the hill descent, traction control off. And we also have 360 degree camera control. This is the CVT transmission. Auto engine start stop, I guess. Parking brake. holders armrest does not move forward it just opens up to reveal some useful cubby I don't really know how to play with this board but we will give it a try sometime later overall a very decent package on this price point anyone who is looking to shaped air vents let's switch this off now to check the AC and we 
Ой, ты чё такая? We are trying to reverse the car. As you can see, it is making sounds to notify us of the immediate surroundings. This has rear parking sensors, which is a good thing. Let's try moving the car. Yep, all good. So, it's doing fine. Let's put it back to parking now. Adjusting mirrors, external mirrors. Let's try this out. This mirror is adjusting. Twist the nozzle to the left. Try the other mirror as well. Yep, this is also good. The mirrors fold automatically as well. No issues there. We are pretty much satisfied now. This is the headlamp level. So, hey guys, let's meet the owner of the car, my friend Rohit, who has booked this car. So, let's ask Rohit what were his thoughts when he was finalizing on this car Rohit Hi Hi guys Hi Rohit So Rohit What were your options when you were considering this car? So we actually explored Creta and we uh, explored Esther and we also explored Kushak and High Rider and High Rider uh, was almost our final choice at one point of time because of better mileage but then we did not like the rear seat comfort in high rider and we dropped it and then we were on to Creta and uh, the only thing which stopped us from buying it, it's a good vehicle, uh, was the front seat comfort. It, it has a bulge coming out on the top of the back here which is not very comfortable for my height and uh, it has a waiting time of 4 months almost and uh, of course I was not very convinced with the safety ratings that Hyundai uh, claims they do, do the testing themselves. They don't uh, go for end cap ratings. And finally, uh, uh, when it came to Aster, it was the last thing we test drove, the last car. But then having Adas in it and being about four and a half lakhs cheaper than High Rider and two lakhs cheaper than Peta was a big decision point. And it drove, drove the best among all the three cars. It drove as well as High Rider. So in driving, High Rider was uh, High Rider and Aster are equal. But then Adas. So you mean to say, not just the car drove well, it is also economical in price point as compared to the other options? Yes, definitely. So it is, it is, this is the cheapest option that I had. It was like 20 odd. However, Peta is like 22 odd and High Rider was 24 and a half odd. So do you think this is much more value for money in compared to the other cars? Absolutely. And, and the top, top end model is even more value because of Edas. Right? You don't get Edas, a feature like Edas in this segment altogether. So that's a game changer. Thanks to MG for that. And also, how would you rate the build quality of all these cars? Uh, I felt the build quality is good in all of all the cars, uh, including uh, although High Rider has a lighter dose, lighter frame, maybe it's a DNA fluid. Uh, but I don't doubt the safety. I think it, it, it's, it's a pretty stable. Uh, there's no problem with the safety that I felt. However, uh, I'm not sure about the NCAP rating. So I, I, I I'm informed that this car has an NCAP rating of. Uh, 5 star and for a child it is 4 star uh, which is a plus and it has all the phase 2, 6.2 features like seat belt mandate for the rear passengers which is a plus for me because my kids don't wear seat belt typically right so the crib and when the car starts putting alarm they are little uh, okay kind of to put the they think that somebody is watching them sort of so it helps me so you would you say you are a customer who prioritizes safety over other things absolutely so uh, I'm safety is paramount for me I can give away average, given the looks, given the comfort for some time for safety. Here, uh, I have not uh, given up anything. Okay, but even with safety, this car has plenty of features as well to keep a customer happy, I would say. Yes, definitely. 
it's tech loaded yes and it has all the modern 2023 features which a car is supposed to have okay. it's also safe yes. and it also has the adas features which you think is a it's a big plus it's a big plus yes. in compared to the other options in the segment okay. it misses out on certain uh, certain basic features though right so it misses out misses out on this uh, not having uh, yeah the auto dimming ir irvm sorry auto dimming irvm and it misses out on uh, wireless carplay wireless carplay all right this is out on wireless charger charger also, also. it does not have a wireless charger yes wireless charger. i think uh, those are quite basic now it misses out on cool seat also okay so uh, out of these uh, wireless carplay and uh, irvm auto is a is a big miss for me all right. i'm going to miss it because right. i have that in my other car but you are still satisfied with the technology this car yes. has to offer which is the adas features and the touch screen and the uh, MG Pilot, which yeah, is the digital instrument, instrument yeah. cluster, and, and for that matter, Creta misses out on rain sensing wipers, which is a big plus for me. I All right. It, right. This car has automatic headlamp, though, which I feel personally is a very good addition. Yes, it has. Them. And it has very comfortable seats. So, for a small family of four or five people, a car in this segment, Aster is a good choice, right? Yes. And people can consider. Uh, the Greta or the Saltos or the Kushak or the Tycoon as well right but then this car has something up its sleeve in terms of ADAS which none of the other cars in the segment have to offer True. and on top of that it has good build quality as per your feedback and excellent ride quality yeah right. which is which is something which customers like you have in mind when making a booking right all right right thank you so much for your feedback thank you. all the best and enjoy your car safely Bye. Bye. Guys, we'll take your leave here. We are pretty much satisfied with our PDI inspection of the car. The MG dealership in Mysore, Bipi Motors, is really a nice one. And they have let us do this PDI inspection very peacefully. And hope you guys like this video. Do give it a thumbs up in case you enjoyed this. Bye.